Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwander and welcome to Selling Pass Daily Report. Today we have the pleasure of speaking with Brian Dietmeier, co-founder and CEO of Think Inc. and also the author of a wonderful book called Strategic Negotiation. Welcome, Brian. Hi, Gerhard. Brian, what was the first book that you ever read on negotiation? Probably getting to yes. And uh, have you ever heard of uh, Gerard Nienberg? No, I have not. Because he was the first one to write about the pie analogy. And he said that the purpose of a good negotiation is not to haggle over who wins the larger slice of pie, but how to make more pies for everyone. Right. And I see the pie analogies in your book as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how did you come up with that concept? Oh, well, well I think my partner uh, teaches negotiation at Harvard, and he's he's been in this field for 20 years and I think by and large what's going on in negotiation a lot of the main concepts have been around for years the thing that's changed in in the last few years is putting those things together in a way that works for salespeople on the street there's there's probably more negotiation business books written than maybe any other business book and more negotiation consultants and consulting companies so the big shift is really let's do it in a way that works for salespeople that makes a difference in in an environment that's brutal right now for salespeople why strategy one of my biggest frustrations and the reason I started the company 10 years ago is that as a VP of national account sales for Marriott hotels I was buying negotiation training for my salespeople and I was frustrated that it wasn't solving business problems for us and uh, and I think negotiation is, is a very strategic issue a at the highest level the business deals that a salesperson does throughout the year sort of roll up and become that brand the, the way you negotiate your business deals around the world are, is either deposit into or withdrawal from your brand equity and and I happen to believe that strongly about negotiation when I felt like most of the providers in the field and most of my peers as VPs looked at negotiation as this uh, emotional sort of reactive tactical you never know what's going to happen kind of thing and uh, we looked at it and said no if, if you study it and we have we've watched about 20,000 deals in 46 countries over the last 10 years and say you can know within a great amount of precision what's going to happen in a negotiation the fact that a salesperson gets rocked back on their heels because a buyer says I can get the same thing cheaper from your competitor you have to match the price that will knock a pro salesperson back on their heels and it shouldn't it shouldn't because we can anticipate virtually everything that's going to happen how much of this is an art and how much of it is a science and a skill um, I, I believe it's it's a learned science not not a born art if you think, and, and the, the best example of this is sales. You, you remember back uh, 20 years ago, I do as well, when sales was walk into your customer's office, look at the pictures on his wall, usually unfortunately, and compliment his family. That was sales training. And sales training in the 80s made the shift to business process to say salespeople are becoming analytics. And a job of a good salesperson is to go into an organization, uncover the needs of that customer, apply your products and services to drive customer ROI. That's what a good sales process is. So what you're saying is that the role of the salesperson has changed from that of a provider of information to that of a business analyst and in, in a, a trusted advisor that helps the customer improve productivity or solve a problem and make more money. Ab absolutely. And that should continue on into negotiation instead of now you know, saying, okay, negotiation now is this reactive, emotion-based um, art that in fact it's every bit of a science and every bit is analytical so now you're negotiating solutions to business problems that's, so that's what we should be doing in the past the game was played either offensively or defensively and what you're saying is played analytically precisely you need a couple key data points to be able to stand firm and negotiate business deals get the business relationship in total on the table so what you're saying is that negotiation is really part of a company's business strategy would align with the customer's business strategy. A absolutely. Well, that is a very good overview. We are going to drill down on the elements of strategy with Brian Dietmeier tomorrow, so tune in tomorrow.